high risk. She signed a petition to keep Catherine Galvez in her home. She's being evicted by the bank. She's lived here for 40 years. I was the owner of the building. <laughs> and I made some, uh, a ba uh, some bad investments and uh, people bought things for me and they didn't pay me the money that they owe me so I ended up on the short end of the stick. I say, who outside the house? You say, Wells Fargo out the house. <laughs> and I say, who knocking at the door? You say, Sheriff knocking at the door. And I, then we say together, Wells Fargo's evictions ain't working no more. Okay, ready? I was a publisher and people bought over a hundred books from me, you know, more than one person, and they didn't pay for the books that they bought. That's one of the things that happened. I had a Section 8 tenant who didn't pay her portion of the rent, and so I didn't have the money to make the repairs that Section 8 always ordered, and so Section 8 stopped making the payments also. Who in the house? Kathy Galvis in the house. Who outside the house? Wells Fargo out the house. Who knocking at the door? Sheriff knocking at the door. Wells Fargo evictions ain't working no more. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and the big thing is uh, from before December 19th, I informed Wells Fargo that there was a buyer, a, a neighborhood real estate investor, that wanted to buy the property from them. They didn't care. They chose to ignore uh, what I was saying. All they said was, when are you going to turn in your keys? I asked people to sign a petition to keep our neighbor in the neighborhood. She's lived here for 40 years. She's being evicted by the bank. The bank won't even come to negotiate with her about it. And that's a petition to Supervisor Wiener to support the resolution against um, foreclosures. I said, OK, if you let if you let this investor talk to Wells Fargo, I will sign this document. And they said, sure, that there was the attorney at Wells Fargo that said, sure, that the whole scam, I believe, I think it was a, a, a whole conspiracy, was to just get me to sign the document. Hi. We're asking people to sign a petition. <laughs> they that only 50 times. Thank you for saving me. Hello, sir. What the realtor that they said is the asset manager said Wells Fargo wants a property. Before they sell it to anyone, they want to vacate it for seven days. I talked to a couple of realtors and they said that's bull. They can't do that. This is a story about Catherine. This is her in front of her home. Um, she's been living in Noe Valley for 40 years. She's a 63 year old military widow. This Wednesday, my eviction day, I have to go to a urologist because of a blood test that shows something's wrong with my kidney now. And I have high blood pressure since 1980. This whole situation is not helping it. Stop. The evictions, Wells Fargo. Stop. The evictions, Wells Fargo. So many people in need are victims of your greed. So stop the evictions, Wells Fargo. Stop the evictions, Wells Fargo. It's, that's the whole point of it. That's what makes it interesting. The, the realtor, one time he actually scared me. I was talking on the phone to my sister. And he was hiding, I guess, between my staircase and the house. And I, all of a sudden, he jumped up out of no, you know, jumped up on the stairs out of nowhere. And I actually gasped. And my sister heard the whole dialogue. He said, "What are you doing? Talking to your attorney? Let me talk to your attorney." And for those of you watching, you can go to occupyevictions.org or occupytheauctions.org to get in on the action. Keep Catherine Galvez and other foreclosure and eviction fighters in their homes. We want you to stay in the neighborhood. <laughs> Thank you.